tonight on One News, concerns are raised about the length of the time TVNZ staff have to fight to save their jobs as iconic shows face the axe. To be able to get big projects built much faster and much more cost effectively. Fast tracking its fast tracking infrastructure scheme. So will the government tick off all the actions in its 100 day plan with just one day to go? Plus, listen to the local knowledge that we have about how this river works. Blue Cliffs residents vent their frustration at how little time they've been given to evacuate, with fears advancing erosion could wash away their homes. Kia ora, good evening and kia kaha to our colleagues. Fair Go, the longest running TV consumer program in New Zealand. Flagship current affairs show Sunday and late news bulletin tonight are all facing an uncertain future. TVNZ today confirming up to 68 jobs could go in a proposed restructure across different departments, including news and current affairs. One News understands the youth-oriented digital platform ReNews is also affected. Kim Baker-Wilson has developments. For decades, it's battled for consumers. Good evening and welcome to the final fair go for 1977. Now, its staff are facing a battle of their own. Media speculation started swirling last night. The email to staff came only this morning. Almost one in ten TVNZ jobs are on the line. We're devastated. We... It's not just about job losses for our team. The concern we have is that TVNZ has indicated that staff may only have one week to process this proposal, to ask questions and to develop alternatives. And that's simply not credible uh, or realistic for staff to be able to do. This isn't the news anyone wants to hear, TVNZ told those staff, and there are no easy answers. Going on to say tomorrow will be a confronting day. That's because that's when consultation starts with staff. Today, the chief executive was out of the country. She'll be back as meetings get underway. Award-winning Sundays confirmed its staff are heading to those. As the last of its kind, is that what we want in our media landscape, to not have an in-depth current affairs show? RE, TVNZ's youth online arm, says its staff also have invites. So do newsroom content creators who edit material for online and on-air. Staff on the late night One News also have an uncertain future. TVNZ's plans come a week and a day after all of News Hub were told of plans for their jobs to go. I have been trying to actually come to grips with, you know, th this whole issue with News Hub uh, demise um, potentially on June after June 30th. Uh, TVNZ making an announcement uh, this morning. TVNZ said last week it's lost over 16 million dollars in six months. It's Axe is planned to fall beyond the newsroom and on staff across departments. Well, we've heard from our members that they feel a, a huge sense of uncertainty at the moment. But TVNZ says cutting costs means cutting workers. Kim, what else has the union had to say about the proposed job cuts? Well, we've talked before about it being tough times in the media, and we are seeing more of that today. The union tells us that it is going into this to fight to save the jobs that it can. It will be here tomorrow, along with affected workers heading into those consultation meetings. Keep in mind, staff at this stage don't know what is happening to them or their programs. They have to head to those meetings tomorrow to find out more. The union says there is a need for some serious talks on what happens if core programming at TVNZ is on the line, as well as jobs being on the line. All of that should start, become, start to become a lot more clear from tomorrow. Kia ora, Kim. Thank you.